when I talk about this, we ain't even got to mention bro name, dog. Because I know y'all know what I'm talking about before I even get into it. We ain't even got to mention the nigga name, bro. At all. And I know somebody in the chat going to do it. But don't. Plain and simple, dog. We seen what's been going on on Twitter. Dude got kicked off this platform, went to another one. And now he is saying what he wants. Everybody's saying he's weird. He's doing this for attention and all types of shit, right? If you ask me personally, this man is what a lot of people would like to be. And that is free. Do you not realize the reason why Andrew Tate got all of the viewers that he got and why he had such a large cult following? Because so many people want that level of freedom. He literally said any and everything he wanted. Why do you think people are still on his side? Such a large amount of people are still on his side. Because he has freedom that most aspire to have. So with that dude, he finally has that freedom. He has the finances. And he has a platform to back him up. Now, does that mean I agree with what he is saying on these platforms? I'm not even going to say if I do, because if I do and it gets clipped, motherfuckers just going to automatically assume some shit. And guess what? I don't have that level of freedom, which is what I aspire to even have. Bro, I agree with the fact that he's free to say what he wants now. Do you not realize even when I saw his tweet, I was happy? At the fact of seeing him get free after all of this time. Everybody, he's swallowing Andrew Tate. Also, I don't think he is. It was it was crazy because it's like, are, is that the only thing you have to keep saying? Because I keep seeing clips of him saying the same shit. But he's free to say it. Did I say I agree with it? Think about it like this, DSG. We talk about freedom. Every time we've been in this chat, has did I have to put it in an emote only because I disagreed with what y'all had to say? Did I? Did y'all ever see me put it in an emote only because I disagree with what y'all have to say? What do y'all see me put it in an emote only for? Because I don't know if we'll get banned because of Twitch. We watch Clown World. Y'all know damn well, bro. Y'all know damn well. Come on, bro. Come on, dog. I don't even got to say it, but y'all get it. We watch Clown World and look at that. It ain't about people wilding MMA fan. They're not. Niggas are not wilding. Niggas want to be free to say the things they want to say. We can't. That's the only problem. He is finally free to say what he wants to say. He's been saying some really weird shit. I'm not going to lie. It, bro, I've been seeing so many clips, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this nigga on now? But as far as his tweet, hey, that nigga free to say that. He free to say all the shit he's saying now. Even Trainwreck's been trying to put that nigga in check, though, because he's been on some really weird shit. I'm not going to lie. Thugger with the AK said, we got to move the rumble. Do you see what I mean? Why? Because we have more freedom to say what we want to say. No, his name isn't TOS, but I have no clue what Twitch will do to someone like me because they will just think, I'm, they may say I'm spewing hate speech because I'm saying this man is free to say the things he wants to say now. I have no fucking clue. You don't know. Nigga Thought Sweeper said we got to move the jerk mates. But nah, no bullshit, bro. He has freedom that a lot aspire to have, bro. Do you know how much this platform holds us back? This platform holds us back like a motherfucker, bro. Every time we're on here, we are so worried. If we say one wrong word, they're not going to give us a warning and say, hey, you shouldn't say that. The first thing they would do is just ban us for nothing. My first ban on Twitch was for 30 days and nobody in this chat has a clue. Not a single moderator, editor, the streamer. Nobody has a clue why I got banned because it said unmoderated chat. It could have been one single motherfucker and we had 1,300 people on that stream. 
It could have been one motherfucker on that stream. And nobody has a clue to this day why we got banned for 30 days. Bro, he has freedom. And I'm not going to lie. I aspire to even have that freedom someday to say the things I want to say. You ain't, you don't ever see me voicing my, my political thoughts or my political beliefs or anything. Y'all don't see me doing that, do y'all? Y'all see me talking to y'all about male self-improvement, girls and shit like that, and us having fun. Y'all don't ever see me, y'all don't know what party I'm with. I don't talk about that. Y'all don't know who I'm voting for. I don't talk about that. Y'all don't know shit about my life. Why? Because these platforms, we don't have freedom of speech at all. We have the freedom to say what they want us to say. We do not have the freedom to say what we want to. If we don't say what they want us to say, then we can get banned. So. <clears throat> but yeah. Even on Twitter, bro. Even on Twitter. Think about it like this, y'all. Y'all be seeing all of these Twitter motherfuckers saying what they say about, about the nigga. He weird. He's this and that. Y'all don't see him speaking on all of the people that are still following him, do y'all? These are all of these Twitter niggas, right? Y'all don't see them still speaking on them. Look at the larger niggas on Twitter that ain't speaking on a nigga. And what he said. Why? Because they know. They actually fuck with what he's saying, bro. There's a lot of people out there that fuck with what he said. And we can't say anything about it. Can't even like it. You like it. You're, you're prejudiced. A lot of people secretly agree with them. But they won't publicly say it. They won't even speak on it. They won't publicly condemn them at all. And they won't speak on it. They won't publicly agree. That's what they're doing, bro. Like I said, go over there and check. You'll see all the people that are still following him. He's gaining more. The thing is, y'all don't understand. A lot of people be like, yo, with these radical audiences, do you not realize it's so much better to have a radical audience? Do you know why? Because they actually stick with you. It don't matter what you say, they'll stick with you. If you haven't noticed that. Why y'all think I told y'all on my main channel I don't like uploading on there? I don't have a radical audience on my gaming channel, but at the end of the day, y'all really know me. Y'all really know me. I don't have to worry about every time I post, I have a whole bunch of people getting offended. You look at the gaming channel, you see it. Look at all the comments, bro. You see it. My main channel? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't want to even upload. I do want to do some main channel videos. And you know where I want to post them at? On the gaming channel. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I miss the main channel videos. But I'd rather post them on a the gaming channel. Just because those are the real people. These radical audiences, think about it. Why are people, I can't even say the nigga name, who's going for president. Why aren't the people who's with him going against him ever? Why does he have such a strong following? Because those radical audiences. Look at all of the people that voted for Biden. You know what I mean? People are regretting it. He does not have a strong cult-like following. He does not have a radical audience. He has a politically correct audience. Everybody's all about being politically correct. And look what he's doing, giving all the money to fucking Ukraine. I don't want to talk about that too much either. Because I don't even know if that can get me banned. Even though that's a fact. That's a fact. I don't know if they can get me banned, though. That's the reason why I say I don't, I don't sit there and voice my political beliefs or anything. I don't. You do, you can get banned. Unless you say some dumb shit like, yo, I'm, you know, I'm, I definitely voted for Biden. I'm good. I, I can say that with no problem. I can say that. How come I can say that? Y'all see what I mean? This type of shit, though, we don't have the freedom. Like I said, with the nigga constantly saying that one statement he's saying, it seems weird to me that he needs to keep saying it because he's not providing any explanation as to why he's saying it. So his one tweet with him saying that, I do think... I don't think he was seeking attention. I think he wanted to let it be known he is finally free to say what he wants. But at the end of the day, when he's saying that, he's not providing an explanation as to why he believes that. And I can't say, 
I agree or disagree with anything that people say online because I still have to deal with the fact of at any given moment, if I'm not politically correct, they can ban me. Like I said, bro, how many people aspire to have the same freedom to say and do as they please like Andrew Tate did? How many people in this chat would like to have that type of freedom? Because people are drawn to that type of freedom. It's actually in, uh, what's that book? Uh, fucking, um, The Art of Seduction. It's actually in that book. The Art of Seduction. See? Look. Look at the chat. There's plenty of people in here that would love to have that type of freedom, bro. But we can't. You know why? Y'all can't, y'all can hide behind, y'all can hide behind a fake profile. I mean, not a, an anonymous profile and say it, but you can't say it publicly because you might lose your job, lose a source of income, lose a source of income, lose a platform. Lose friends, all types of shit, just because you voiced your beliefs. I respectfully disagree with anybody. I have no problem respectfully disagreeing with people. But now people, people are not trying to respectfully disagree with people. It's if you don't agree with me, I have to insult you. I have to bash you. I have to hate you. I can't be friends with you. I don't give a fuck who you vote for. You may vote for somebody who fucked this whole country up. And I'm still going to be your friend. And by yo, bro, you was wildin'. That's it. What I got to sit there and say I don't have to be your friend for? Why I got to say that? I don't have to say that. Look at what the dude tweeted. If I was friends with him, why I got to say I can't be your friend anymore? Like I said... Think about it, bro. Look at the people who are friends with him. Are they speaking bad about him? Are they even speaking on it? Why? Because they're fucking scared to lose their platforms. They know it. Look at his friends. How many of them have spoken on it? Maybe people who went over to kick or rumble? Do you see them speaking on it? Hell no. They can speak about everything else, right? Right? Don't, don't they speak about everything else? Y'all see it, right? They, they, can, they can speak about anything else, tweet about it, stream about it, whatever. Why aren't they talking about it now? The fact that he's canceled. Why are they not speaking on him getting canceled? Because they can't say they agree with him. They can't. Some of them do. They cannot say they agree with him. Because they know they do. But this is the type of shit niggas got to worry about, bro. Do not say the nigga's name in the chat. We're talking about a random individual. But yeah, man. So, like I said, man, do I think what he's doing is right? I can't say I think it's right the way he's trying to spread his message. Because he's young, and I don't think he's knowledgeable in certain things he's saying. And definitely with some of the clips I'm seeing... I'm like, what the fuck is your problem now? Like, you've attained freedom. Cool. But you are doing too much with this freedom because you're young. You do not have a mentor. Because your mentors who have more money than you, they're gone. If he had somebody, like even the guy who owns the platform he's on now, telling him, yo, chill out. We'll talk about that off stream. Things like that. You need to have people like that. You need to have people telling you, what the fuck are you saying? Just because you have the freedom to say what you want does not mean you need to say exactly what you want. Still be mindful of the things that you're saying when you're an influencer. He's not thinking that way because he's so fucking young. What is he, 21? He's so young, he's not thinking about his influence. I know the influence I have. Have you not seen how much we've changed up on these streams? Why? I realize the influence that I have. You see how before there was not that many people coming in here saying how much their lives have improved. Look how many people have come in these streams every single fucking stream and improve on something. There's not been a stream we've had since we've been on Twitch since pe that people haven't said they improved on something. Since I've even started my own fitness journey to be able to teach y'all shit, there's not been a single stream that we've had where somebody hasn't said they've started, they've progressed, or something. Like I said, man, all of these streamers and shit, none of these motherfuckers want to provide value or anything like that. But at the end of the day, I will. I really want to see everybody become something. 
A lot of y'all niggas need to do it. Smooth just said, I'm starting tomorrow. Good. But things you need to start right now. The, th the thing is, even if you can't do something physically, write it down. Research. You said you're starting tomorrow. Research as much as you possibly can tonight. Figure it out tonight. If you have a goal, why put it off? If I have a goal, I'm starting right then and there when I, when I establish that goal. I will accomplish it. You know what I'm saying? As soon, soon as I start it, I'm working towards accomplishing it. I mean, as soon as, soon as I think of it, I'm working towards accomplishing it. That's how it should be. But yeah, man, if I had the freedom he did, you would still... Hold on, that's because the ones that are uh, controversial enough to people that are hello followers are then align with negative... Yeah, negative energy. Okay, but the thing is, right, they do. But is it necessarily all negative? A lot of people just aspire to be able to be free. Say, for instance, look at all of the shit people talk on Twitter, right? Like that girl who... Y'all go, y'all see my other page. <laughs> that girl said, what did she say about, she said, uh, oh, oh, she said, all the niggas without kids under 30 are ugly. That nigga said, shut your fat ass up. I can't say that because if I say it, I'm fat phobic. When he said it, I was dying, nigga. I was like, yes, call that big bitch up, nigga, cook her, nigga. Fuck is she talking about? You know what I'm saying? But I can't say it. Because then guess what? Streamer Daquan Wiltshire called her out. He's fat phobic. That is so fat ass up. I had to retweet that immediately. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, bro. I never voiced my beliefs. If you looked at my likes, you'll, you'll, see what I'm, you'll see what I believe in. Like I said. But don't do that because now I'm gonna have to, uh, I'll make my whole page private. But nah, dead ass, bro. I can't do it. Why? Because I don't have the freedom that Aiden does. I just said his name. <laughs> Shit. Well, <laughs> we knew what I was talking about anyways, but yeah, bro.